It is idiotic that you cannot say the N-word. Idiotic. Of course, you should never call anybody the N-word. That's despicable. But to say the word, to say, you can't even say that the word is despicable. You have to say the N-word. That is uh, Dennis Prager, 73-year-old right-wing radio host. You may have heard him before for some of his takes like that one. He's also the founder of something called PragerU, which is not a real university, but a website of five-minute clips that present a conservative twist on nearly every single issue. And like many on the far right, Dennis Prager has been a vocal anti-vaccine voice, encouraging people to get COVID so they have natural immunity. But yesterday, Prager announced that he finally got COVID too. I wanted to achieve natural immunity which is by far the more robust immunity that one can have against the COVID or any virus. And I hugged strangers in the thousands, literally in the thousands, while not being inoculated. And it was a gamble based on the knowledge, not based on being a gambler. I am not a gambler. And I certainly don't gamble with my health. Well, I would argue that hugging thousands of strangers as an unvaccinated 73 year old is in fact gambling with your health. Although what is your daily hugging schedule looking like if you're hugging thousands of people? Prager said he is taking a variety of at best ineffectual remedies, including the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine. He said this has been taken for a while and the deworming drug, Ivorectin, of course, as well as the monoclonal antibodies, which have been shown to be effective. Prager says he's feeling better, and I am glad to hear that. But he's just the latest of a slew of uh, conservative radio hosts to come down with COVID, including several who have died, including a Nashville conservative talk radio host named Phil Valentine, who, quote, advised those who are not in the high risk demo to not get the vaccine and bet that his odds of dying from COVID-19 were way less than 1% before dying of COVID in August. Shortly before his death, Cumulus Media, the radio conglomerate he worked for, told employees they must be fully vaccinated by October 11th. Over the past week, at least four radio hosts have left the company after refusing to be vaccinated. Now, one of the stars of Cumulus Media organization is threatening to leave unless they remove the mandate. Have these companies ever thought of that? The countless numbers of moms and dads who are sitting at some kitchen table explaining to their kids how they may have to move out, how daddy doesn't have a job because a bunch of people in a C-suite thought it'd be a good idea to sit around and play pretend Dr. Fauci for a moment and mandate people jam something in their bodies that they don't want to take. You can have me or you can have the mandate. But you can't have both of us. Oh, well, that's a tough choice. If you do not have an uncle who shares his videos on Facebook, that is Dan Bongino, a guy who's found a niche as one of the MAGA universe side characters, rage-filled former Secret Service agent. Now, I should tell you, that guy threatening to quit over a vaccine mandate is, in fact, fully vaccinated. And a part of me wants to give him credit for sticking to his principles and, at the very least, calling out his employer over its vaccine policy, something that, as we noted repeatedly, people like Tucker Carlson don't have the courage to do. But the thing is, like Tucker, Dan Bongino's also a Fox News host. And weirdly enough, he has not threatened nor said one single word about Fox's strict vaccine protocols that you either vaccinate or test daily. I guess the tough guy routine only goes so far.